Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Okay, I've got a comparison today of two UK legal folding knives. So, UK legal, uh, yeah, before you carry them on the street, double check my definition. You never know, I might be wrong. But yeah, as if it's non locking and the blade is less than 3 inches or 75 millimeters, then in theory, uh, you can legally carry it so long as you're not taking it out to the pub or you know yeah, so long as so long as you're sensible uh, the first one tbs bar folding knife uh, these are retail retailing now for about 60 pounds uh, from the uh, the bushcraft store uh, i believe i believe these are all made in europe uh, rather than china Really good quality little knife. What I really like about it, it's got a Scandi grind, and it's one of the few folding knives that you can find that's got a Scandinavian grind. Not many do. Most of them have compound grinds. Uh, very ergonomic. Uh, Mikata handles. Yeah, very, very good, reliable knife. It's. Uh, Obviously, the thing is, the thing is with anything that's non-locky, is there's the risk of it folding on you. And yeah, they're they're actually quite dangerous. I quite like the uh, the lamb's foot uh, folders, which well, which are straight across the blade, and then they'll come down at the front, maybe what 80 degrees. That way, is if you're doing anything with the point. Uh, the pressure is actually pushing the blade back whereas with this as if you're doing something with the point if you if you get it a little bit behind uh, the, the back of the back of the blade it can kind of force it around it's uh, it's a little bit iffy uh, yeah it's a stupid law isn't it uh, I made a lock on a knife it's a safety feature you know, it's it's good. How can that be bad? You can still stab someone with one of these. You know, it's yeah. I just think a lock's a safety feature and should be perfectly normal. Well, enough of that. Second knife, uh, C R K T uh, Leon Ma. Uh, these are available from Haney Haynes. Uh, I think I pronounced that right. Always struggle with the name of that website. Uh, you get the red one and it costs you £25. You get the black one and it costs you £47. So yeah, this is this is a special special offer, special limited edition. Any uh, it's got the little little logo on it, the little H. Don't know if you can see that. Uh, but yeah, the, the nice thing about this is, is if you look here, that little finger choil there, it's actually really hard, really hard for that to close while your finger's there. So that's a nice little safety feature. Uh, this one, unlike the other one, you can open and close one-handed, and, uh, and it's got a compound grind. Stainless steel, so... This is more like uh, more like most of your pen knives that you're going to find available in the compound compound grind stainless steel. It's also got a little belt clip uh, which you can hoof to the other side if you like. Got a little lanyard uh, which I will be removing. Uh, this has been used very very little. It's uh, I've been using it for a day. Uh, this I've been using for a good few years. Uh, so let's have a quick look at how sharp they are. <laughs> okay. So let's have a look at this one first. Yeah. Not bad.
not bad either. Probably about the same, but I mean, that's out of the box sharpness. Whereas with this, obviously, it's been sharpened and used a lot over the years. Uh, right. Let's play with some sticks. Okay, summary, uh, the TBS, that works better for carving wood, the uh, CK Columbia River Knife and Tool Company, uh, maybe Columbia River is a tributary of the uh, Yangtze River because uh, this is made in China, uh, yeah this seems, to be, this seems to be quite a bit better for slicing the vegetables, uh, this is a lot more comfortable to use uh, this is half the price I like this one a lot more as uh, if you buy this from the same company I bought it from but in black it's uh, a lot more expensive and nearly as expensive as the as the TBS uh, yeah the, the TBS is so much more comfortable to use uh, it'll It'll be much easier to sharpen being a Scandi grind. Uh, obviously, as if you're working in a damp environment, uh, you might want to go for the stainless. Uh, you might notice I've taken the lanyard off that, uh, whereas that one I've put on myself. It was it was cheap. It was flopping around. Yeah, it was annoying me. So, so that came off. Uh, well, 
thanks for watching guys uh feel free to like subscribe whatever and i'll see you again next time bye bye